to leave a food review for these Paleo Valley meat sticks. I've only tried their 100% grass-fed beef meat sticks. I've not tried the chicken um, or any other of their products. But I will say that these meat sticks are amazing. I used to buy um, chops back when they were 99 cents, like at Trader Joe's. And now those are $2, so I can't afford them anymore. And I haven't been purchasing them. That's just way too much for what's essentially a snack and not even a meal. I saw an advertisement um, for Paleo Valley meat sticks where you could order, like your first order, you could order them for 99 cents each which was once again affordable and I normally don't click on ads and just buy what I see but I was already interested in this and I used to get meat sticks sometimes and they had just doubled in price so because of this I purchased like 60 of them and I tried every single flavor and I'm going to give my review on these so the normal price is more than two dollars each which is insane it's incredibly high and maybe that's what stuff just is anymore and uh, even uh, even the chops are two dollars so if these were like 236 normally that's very high but if you buy enough it does come with free shipping and I will say that uh, if you subscribe you get a discount so it makes it a little less than two dollars with the free shipping which is less than buying chops at the supermarket now but um, the consistency and the flavor of these meat sticks is a lot better than chomps. Um, I like the chomps okay. I wasn't like a huge fan, but sometimes you were just a little bit hungry and you needed something with like protein in it. And uh, it was good to have them, you know, just every once in a while. You're not like hungry enough to make a big meal. You just need something. And um, these Paleo Valley ones though, they taste really good. I find myself craving them, wanting to eat a lot of them, and I can't really afford to do that, but they have original flavor, um, jalapeno, teriyaki, summer sausage, garlic, summer sausage. I think that could be all the flavors. Yeah, there's original flavor too. So original flavor is good, and it's just like what you would expect. And um, it wasn't like tough or stringy or hard, but it wasn't really soft or juicy either. But it was a very good um, texture and consistency. And I'm not going to show you guys um, the images now. You can look them up online if you want. Um, I think the Paleo Valley meat sticks are only sold online anyways. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing them in stores. So I've only seen them online. So if you go to purchase them, you'll see the packaging, but uh, they just look like a normal meat stick, except for the brand is different, and uh, the wrapper is a different color. So the original tastes like what you think a meat stick would taste like, and it's not like really chalky or dry, but it's not like that juicy, but it's pretty soft and it's still really, really good. So I'd say the taste of these is like a 10, but the price of these is not a 10. The price is too high. The price needs to come down. They could offer them to me for 99 cents once or to any of you, your first order, um, at least for a period of time was 99 cents each. And I thought that was fair and I was very happy to buy a lot of them for that price. Unfortunately, um, I don't know if I can buy any more of them. It's just cost prohibitive. And then uh, the teriyaki, um, I think they normally have like 70 calories or something and maybe the teriyaki was like 80. So most of them are about 70 and the teriyaki had more. And the reason is I think that they used real honey in them. So it was like a regular meat stick and then um, it was just like a little spicy, a really good flavor and then they put real honey in it. So. I thought these were really good and when I first ate them you know I thought they're not quite as good as the regular ones you know they're like 80 90 percent as good but actually as I ate more of them I liked them more and then I was sad when they were all gone and uh, this was also like medium softness it was not chalky it was not dry 
and um, it wasn't like extremely juicy or anything. And then the summer sausages, um, they are beef, they are not pork, but they were very juicy compared to the other flavors. There was garlic and regular, and the regular summer sausage was very moist, very good. Um, I like the flavor of that just as much as the original, but it was soft and juicy, which made it even better. So maybe it's just this batch that I got, but wow, like great job. And I think they're fermented, which may possibly make them even better for your health. I haven't done much research into that. Just solely as purchasing a meat stick, the taste, the price is high, the flavor is amazing. These are the best tasting meat sticks I've ever eaten in my life. And they're non-GMO and they don't put any bad ingredients in them and possibly um, have extra health benefits from the fermentation process. So the summer sausage was juicy, it was great. Teriyaki was great. The jalapeno, um, that was a little more dry, slightly chalky, but still uh, it wasn't tough or chewy. It was still soft enough. And I found myself like wanting more of those after they were gone as well. So only thing I can tell you guys is uh, buy one of each flavor. And I was trying one of each, thinking that I would find my favorite one. And the, uh, the great and unfortunate thing was I like all of the flavors. And I like them all differently. And when any one flavor isn't there, I'm sad. And I don't have a whole lot of these meat sticks left because I've been eating them. So yeah, I've been eating like two of them a day. That's a lot of money, but they're so good. They're so delicious, and I know they're good for me. Um, yeah, there is like a craving for them, but uh, I can tell that uh, they're giving me some type of nutrition that I need, and I'm not getting elsewhere. I did not feel this way eating other meat sticks. So, guys, um, they're just like the most delicious. Taste on all of these is like a 10. Price on all these is like a 7. But, you know, nothing's really cheap anymore. The ingredients, though, the ingredients are pure, they're good, and they also treat the animals humanely, at least according to their mission statement. So unless we go to the factory, you know, we don't really know. But I'll take them at their word, and uh, I'm hoping that I'll find another way to get a discount, because um, even with the subscriber discount, which is um, 20%, that's quite high. Even with that, these are almost $2 a piece. So they're just slightly less than the chopsticks. And uh, the other brands, they use GMOs, they use artificial flavors and colors and ingredients, and also the animals aren't treated as well. And I remember that they did not taste that great. And this is like, I'm remembering in my preteen years, back when I had like the regular meat sticks that you get at the gas station. The flavor was okay, but it wasn't anything to write home about. And also the ingredients were bad. Uh, these are amazing. The Paleo Valley ones, they're amazing. They taste so good. Like I would just want to eat them for flavor. And uh, they also feel like they're nourishing something. You know like when you're thirsty and you drink a glass of water? It's not quite that extreme, but there's a little bit of that, at least for me, that I notice. And I haven't been really cooking steaks or meat because I'm by myself now, so that could be part of it, which is um, I'm not cooking meat. I'm not getting a lot of meat right now unless it's in some pre-made meal. So these these uh, meat sticks are just what I need, I suppose. But I ate like, I ate like this before, and even then, um, the meat sticks, they still um, weren't as good as these. I noticed the first one that I ate, I was just blown away by how good it tasted. And I had had um, a Chomps meat stick like a week before, and it didn't do that. So I suggest all of you guys to try them. Um, they're really great. I don't write reviews for everything. I try to write reviews for things that are organic or non-GMO. And these usually do cost more because they don't put really cheap junk um, ingredients in them. But also I'll write a review or I'll make a review and record a video on something that I really love and I'd like other people to know about. I'd never heard about this brand before. I'd never purchased their products before. 
But surprisingly, like, I had just been at the grocery store, like, the week before and was going to buy some meat sticks, and they were twice the price. So then when I saw this ad to where they were 99 cents, which is what I used to pay, it was a no-brainer. I had to I had to purchase them. I'm really glad that I did because now I would pay more than 99 cents for them just because they're so delicious. Okay, guys, so... Um, I suggest all of you guys to try them, and I think they have a money-back guarantee if you don't like them. I thought I saw that on their website, so if you don't like them, you don't think they taste good, or even the price is just too high, you can return them and get your money back. But I think what will happen is you'll taste it, and it'll be so delicious that uh, you'll end up ordering more, and you won't return them. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.